Hello, my name is Josh, and welcome to a new video. Today, we're looking at the Necro Bloom, which is one of the new legends from Modern Horizons 3. I think possibly one of the best sets to ever grace Arena because it's just introducing lots of new cool things. I think minus the Eldrazi gods, they're just a little bit boring because they're colors that you're in any deck. So they kind of feel a bit like a. They're awesome. I see why they did them, but I don't know. I prefer the colored cards that do different things. So this is basically Field of the Dead on a legendary creature, which is interesting because Field of the Dead is actually banned. But if you make it a four mana card, suddenly it's kind of okay. It's kind of cool. Weirdly, the artwork looks like a victory bell from Pokemon. If you if you know if you know that Pokemon, it's kind of uh, weird. But uh, yeah, so it, this is basically a combination of Scoot Swarm's first ability. So if a land comes in, you create a zero one. But then if you've got seven different land types, you create a zombie instead. So it's 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 actually more like kind of like Scoot Swarm but legendary. But for one mana, mana, you get seven toughness, which is kind of crazy. It's like the most ultimate toughness on a plant you could ever get. You could make this some kind of butts matters deck where you have lots of stuff that, I don't know, boosts the toughness and then it makes you attack with the toughness as power. I'm not sure if that's entirely possible in this format yet, but I'm just happy with the way this deck's gone because we've got so much landfall. We've had to sacrifice a lot to squeeze these in, but we've got all your favorite landfall triggers. Lotus Cobra. We have Azusa lets you play more lands. Cultivate. Growing rights is crazy in this deck because it searches for something when it comes in, then it it becomes Guy's Cradle, so it taps for each creature you control, and, and you will get a lot of tokens with this deck. Nissa, which is like a big daddy version of Lotus Cobra. Excavator lets you play stuff at the graveyard. Of course, you have Scoot Swarm, Set of the Wilds, Orga lets you play and lands on top. Same with Corsa. We have Ren and Realm Breaker, which is just all kinds of crazy for three mana Planeswalker. It's super good. Crucible of Worlds, you know, all the classic stuff. I actually wanted to experiment with Campbell as well, because whenever a token comes in and you drain for one, bear in mind this is always going to be capped at one, but it's just a nice little tiny bit of drain. You could go more like the Aristocrats level with more Blood Artist triggers, but I kind of ran out of space, to be honest. And whenever an opponent creates tokens, you also get a copy of that as well, which is really epic. Now we're getting into the really juicy stuff. Procession gives you double tokens. Felidar Retreat gives you tokens or counters on each creature control. Really ludicrous card for this deck. Mondrak is like another anointed procession. We have Extinction Event because we can get rid of your opponent's threats and keep yours alive, depending on what the situation is. Oracle lets you play lands off the top of your deck and initial lands. Parallel Lives makes you extra tokens. Scapeshift is pretty much a combo piece if you have the right things out. You, there's so many different things you can do with this, I can't even count. It's crazy. Um, Alish Norn doubles your triggers, stops your opponent's triggers. Cathars Crusade, ludicrous in this deck, turns every token into an absolute threat. Virtue of Loyalty, similar. It puts one count on each creature on your instep, which is awesome as well. Doubling Season, we've all seen this. We all know what this does. And then the upper echelons, we've got Alish Norn, which has won me two games today already, which is just silly billy, because nobody expects it. People just don't respect zero ones. I mean, I certainly don't. And then Alish Norn comes out, powers your whole team, kills all your opponent's stuff. Green Warden gets double triggers, and Urge Attack gives you triple tokens. So we have... I'm pretty sure we've got the whole package here for... Um, doubling triggers and doubling token creation as the game goes on in 10 years we're gonna have a lot more of these so i think it's actually good for the game because at the moment when you see doubling season you just go right i will put doubling season in but you know lo and behold in 10 years they'll probably have tripling season let's face it guys it's going to be six mana and it will have the same effect but it'll say triple and i can see it happening already we've already got triple damage things um but, you know, it's a meme at this point. Magic's a meme. If you can think it, it'll be a card. If you can, if there's an IP, it will become a card. But you know what? Let's enjoy it for what it is right now. And I think you'll really enjoy the Necro Bloom. I like Commanders. This is a weird thing to like, but I like them when they don't have a proper name. This is just called the Necro Bloom, which is more of a thing than a name. I don't know, just, uh, it's just a bit different. Because normally the naming con convention of every legend is a bit boring. It's proper noun, comma, and then think about them. Azusa, Lost But Seeking, Campbell, Profiting Mayor, Nissa, Resurgent Animus. It's just nice to have the Necro Bloom. Be funny if one day they had something that was just called the Badass, and it's like a guy with a giant sword or something. I don't know. Kind of interesting when you play around the naming convention. It just um, plays around with the expectations. And also it's not a humanoid character. It's a literal stinky fat plant, which is great. And I've actually had a lot of fun with this deck. Very different. I like the fact that... 
Modern Horizons 3 just gives us some different ways to play. That's essentially what we want to see. And also, I'm not sure if it's true or not, but I have seen a difference in the queue. I think they may have changed the algorithm slightly to give more of a spread. I'm not entirely sure. It could just be purely anecdotal, but if it is, it is. And it's all for the best. I've just seen a lot of different opponents today, which is kind of interesting. Let's get into the gameplay. Hope you like it. And uh, yeah, Necro Bloom. Field of the Dead as a legend or... Scoot Swarm as a legend. Either way, it's pretty awesome. Right, we get to go first with Elvish Mystic. Let's go. Life's too short. Let's do this. Stop roping me, all right? Just stop fucking roping me. I'm sick of this. Just stop it. Every freaking person, every other person today is just an, a roper, a serial ropist. Right, okay. So, we want to use Settle the Wilds. Really? God, the shrine will, will do it. So we're ramping, they're ramping, the mum's ramping, everyone's ramping. Let's freaking do this. Fast magic. Still be thoughtful, just come on. Let's go. Casualties of War is going to be epic here because their body pal makes two things. At least we can get rid of one of those giant bloody cows. Um, Here we go. Slowness. Slowness in the ranks. Illness in the ranks. Just give me some freaking smart, fast players. Give me some... Give me some good players. Give me some Stephen Hawking level players, man. They need to average everyone's turns, how long people take, and then match those people. If we can send people to the freaking moon, you can do that. It's just an average. Come on. As if they're at 500 million lands already. Come on, let's go. Stop it. Stop wasting my time. Uh, okay, now I'm wasting their time. Um... Damn it! You can't, they're all tap lands. Procession. Let's slow them down because if we don't kill that now, it means that they are going to have Bonnie Pal next turn, and I'm not ready for that. Also, interestingly, if we play Campbell, we get a we get a cow. If they get a cow, we get a cow. My goodness, they've played all the additional land droppers. It's crazy. Tap token as a copy of it. Oh, okay. 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 Can I have a go yet? Thank you. Um, so we could go for Necro. I'm going to go for Campbell. Triumph, nice one. Okay, cool. So, if they go for Bonnie Pal, we get the Ox as well, which will be a 5-5. It'll be tapped, but... Let's just hope... They don't care. <coughs> I mean... Yay! Fight cows with cows. And they're going to suicide an elf. Okay. Fair enough. Hmm. That's a that's a legend, annoyingly. Um. Yeah, I think we're just gonna do this. Creature land. Kill the relic tower. Or we'll try to anyway. Kill the land's nice because it also makes their cow a bit smaller. I would have normally gone for a dual land, but the Relic Tower is in there for a reason. I feel like they're going to draw a lot of cards. Are they going to counter this? I'm just going to Swan Song it. Okay. Hmm. That is annoying. That is annoying. Turn to Mr. Meosis. This could be very bad. Okay, they missed. Oh, bloody hell. I hate how one mana can counter six. It feels so wrong. They used a one blue mana spell, right? Think of this in terms of lore. To counter a global event that destroyed an entire city planet. Fair. Fair. And now they're swinging with a bloody eight and a nine nine. Come on. They 
Any more synergies? Any more? Do you, want, do you want any more synergies there? Any more triggers? Yeah? Come on. Just do it. Right. Do this. Play land. Get a plant. And we can use a bit of triumph on the Bonnie Pearl. Kill the Pearl. And the reason that's good is because um, they've already got a legendary cow, which means that they're not going to benefit from playing Bonnie Pearl necessarily, unless they want to grant pseudo vigilance here, which is a thing. Provisioner. Okay, five, six, seven, eight, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, right, they're going to still be able to give a bonnie power, which is kind of annoying. Thank goodness that this uh, bow is no trample. And cool, we get treasures. So, Tyler's Provisioner helps us here, but only once per turn. So, that was a bit silly that they did that. They should have attacked first. Oh my goodness. So many triggers. That Nissa's going to get caught. In. Maybe I should just kill that Nissa. Also, if I go for an anointed procession with Campbell out, we get double, double counters. Elf. What elemental? No elementals in the deck. See, I've got a Nissa in my deck, and I deliberately put in an elemental because I thought this might happen, but they obviously haven't thought about that. So, yeah, they're just basically not getting full whack out of it. So definitely want to go for Anointed. Uh, definitely want to go for this. I think we're just going to go for the Nyssa, because she's kind of annoying. And attack them back. Hey, if they want to block with the Bonnie Pell, go ahead. So now they play land. Oh, that's gross. That's not good. That is really not good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I think that might be in the game. That's a lot of cards. That is a lot of cards. Invasion of Zendikar. Two lands. They get two treasures or foods, but then we also get two treasures or foods as well. And also we get to drain them. Can we kill them with their own tokens? That's kind of interesting. I'm very glad I've put this in the deck. Five mana left. But we don't get to trigger that anymore. It's a real shame it's capped just like that. Considering that Tyler's Provision isn't uncommon and it's uncapped, they can do this infinitely, but we can only do it once per turn. That's kind of weird. World Shaper. So if that dies, they get all land some graveyard to the battlefield. Oh, we've got two. Not that bothered. And a harrow. So it's basically the whole deck is just ramp. <coughs> and lands are not great, God. Yeah, we've got Bloodstained Mire. That's fine. So we can use Ancient Green Worn, get a land out, get some zombies, double the triggers, kill them with a Campbell. Yeah, this is good. The Campbell's going to win us the game, I hope. We'll see. Crimson the core. My God. Can you imagine that Campbell was still triggering here? They would probably be dead. To be perfectly honest. Sixteen, sixteen, no trample. Sure. I mean we're, we're gonna want to block these. That's that's definitely a thing. And normally the world shaper is gonna block and they're gonna get all the lands back from the graveyard. So it's looking worse actually. We're just gonna do that one there. Okay. Oh, that's a real shame. If I'd done that, if that died in our turn, we would actually had a copy of that token, I think. Yeah, that's a shame. Okay, let's go for Ancient Green Warden. Oh, actually, this works out kind of nicely. But yeah, I do not want to attack. I want to fetch in their turn. I don't know. We'll see what they do. Because if they create... <coughs> okay, so now they're going to start creating more tokens. So maybe I don't fetch in their turn. Because it, Campbell's trigger will already have been used here. 
Wow, this loop is just really good. I just, I really hope we can keep Camel alive because he's keeping us in the game. I'm really surprised they haven't made any food yet, though. Just treasures is kind of interesting. Maybe they'll hear me and they'll do it now. Still treasures. Even if we lose here, we've seen some really cool, cool synergies. Campbell and Order Procession, them getting tokens. Seems that like most people seem to get tokens in, in their decks. Spring Bloom Druid. And it's really lucky that the cow doesn't have trample because we would have been dead a long time ago. They could, of course, just have Crater Hoof Behemoth and they will 100% win the game here. Because all their stuff will have immensely unstoppable power. What exactly are they building up these treasures for, though? That's what I'm wondering. Because think of it this way, right? If this was just foods the whole time, they would have they would have like hundreds of life by now. I don't know. It is it is strange. And now they're going to cast Uro. My god, they're just basic goldfishing at this point. So much life. Does anything have trample? Nothing does. So even with this roaring earth, doesn't really do anything. Attacking feels oh uh, yeah, they get to draw a card. There is there is a reason. Okay, counter spell. That's gonna be very annoying. So yeah, we basically can't resolve anything now. This is going to be a two-hour game unless they can find a uh, like a some kind of. I'm not sure. I really don't know how I can actually. I don't think there's anything I can do now. Not with counter spell. Ah, uh, why? I mean, I guess we can see it. Overwhelm them with zombies? The bloody reach on the body pole as well, that's kind of hindering. Right, let's see how this goes. They can return any card from the... Oh, return the lands from the grave to the battlefield tap. Well, they only have three. So we're getting loads of treasures that don't really mean anything, apart from the draining. And there's no point cracking the Bloodstained Mire yet, because, oh god, okay, there's a Trampler. Okay, there's a Trampler, they've got ourselves a Trampler. We can see everything they have, so we just have to basically get around that counter spell. But they keep drawing things here at Intervention. Okay, well, keeping the Oracle of Moldaya alive will be important. Because we can see everything they do. Yeah, I just don't think there's anything we can really... Unless we get more attackers than them. Is there anything... Is it worth cracking this here? So we get... <coughs> Maybe we just, we just Alpha Strike. We would... How many blockers are there? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, so we need to have excess... Um, we need to have seven attackers with two, two each. Um, how does that work? You know what, I'm just going to try it here, because I don't think we can get to the counter spell. To be perfectly honest. Let's just see. We do get a load of zombies. Maybe we can break this. Because we're going to get how many zombies? Is it eight? That might be nothing, because we can replay the Bloodstained Mire. So we just have to stall a little bit longer. Although they do have apparent intervention. Mm, we'll see.
don't know why they're so terrified. Draw that. Just draw a regular card. Fatal push. Okay, we'll do that on their turn. I think we might actually win the game here. I should have seen the Campbell line a bit sooner. So, we only need to get through now. So, they've got food. So, they're artificial... They're an artificial number of... Okay. Oh, they're just going to get more and more attackers, though, aren't they? Or blockers. So if we use the Fatal Push here, then we can kill any one of their big things. We can actually kill the <coughs> the bow. Lands the battlefield. Maybe we attack with our 9-9. Force them to chump. Oh, I'm too scared. We only have eight two twos. They can block every single one. We don't have a big enough attack force. So we have to alpha with everything. I think we just attack with the nine nine. Before they go for the intervention. And if we take some stuff down here, that's fine. So the world shape is gonna go away. They're gonna return one two lands. That's really not that bad. Get that out of the way. So many triggers. But we also get triggers. They're down to eight. Man, now they're starting to panic with the foods. Jeez. I kind of want to kill the Tyler's Provisioner now. But also, because they fetched, they now don't have the Heroic Intervention on top. They have a Gilded Goose, but that also makes food, which is kind of annoying. Okay, then. So maybe we just kill the bow. Mm, they're definitely going to use counter spell. Whatever we whatever we do, they're going to use counter spell. I reckon. Okay, just more crap on top. They're going to get a land. Okay, so that's going to reshuffle the top card of the deck. How the hell do we get through these foods and stuff? They're not going to set... Oh, Harmonize on top. Gilded Goose. Great stuff of food. Camel must have done a hell of a lot here. But we're also getting food. Let's take down the heavy hitter here. They might even accept. Wow, okay. So now they have to attack with something else. That's kind of what... Because the thing is, if they attack with anything else, we will be able to kill it. And that means one fewer blocker. They draw the Harmonize, and they get River's Rebuke. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, come on. Why is it always River's Rebuke? Well, we might as well block now. Oh, that's just so annoying. Ah, oh, we're going to lose everything. That's the only scary thing as well. Hydroid crisis. No. No. Yeah, well... I guess it was it was an interesting game. There, there was no way for us to break it, especially with them having the counter spell. Even though they still have the counter spell, we're 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 basically going to lose this really badly here. Um, 
We can't even use the bloody foods because they're um they're tapped. Guess we choose hand and lose we just lose so much stuff there. And because they've got the counter spell, they can just get rid of absolutely everything. Escape shift. Okay. Interesting. They actually are we are we actually Okay. Yeah, I think I'm just going to concede, to be honest, guys. They they have got... I think they've they've probably got lethal, to be honest, because they've got a 10-9 here. Um, that's 16, 22. Yeah, I'll call it a game. Yeah, they got us with the River's Rebuke. That's such a shame. And they've got a Eternal Witness on top as well. Oh, well. I'm going to quickly interrupt this video to tell you this video is not sponsored. And because of that, the channel does need help from people like you. So if you do want to support the channel in your own way, you can like and subscribe, which is completely free. But if you want to go the extra mile, you can donate to the channel via my Ko-fi link below or become a channel patron. And if you become a channel patron, you can get a custom video of your choice. Check out the details below. I think we have to keep this hand to see how it goes, just because we've got parallel lives. Although, bloody Roxanne. <laughs> I really wish I didn't say what I said in the deck tech. Seeing different commanders, my ass, My bloody ass. Just seeing the same things over and over again. I've seen like three Roxanne's, one Grenzo. <laughs> That's what I get for assuming that there would be a uh, variation there. So annoying. I should have played, I should have played the Sunpetal Grove there. Oh well. Magda. Okay. Mill, let's kill. Nice, so we can get a land back. We get the temple. Kind of annoying that we have to deal with this now because that's going to ramp us, ramp them. A bit of crime, create a treasure. Yeah. Character's uprising, okay. No crimes committed. Uh, two, three, four. Yeah, let's just ramp here. I want to make sure we get all the things we need. Cathar's Crusade, that's going to be crazy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Lift with a park, goddamn son of a bitch. Okay, well. Can Alish Norm keep us alive here? I'm going to want more enters the battlefield. So she stops all the ATBs. I really hope they don't have a way to deal seven damage here. We need her to stay alive. Massively. No doubling of lands. Svella. Okay. Okay, so they've got like a lightning bolt in the hand or something, so we're not going to block. Armored oh, Scrap Gorger. Nice. Swords. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Uh, what do we want to do? We don't have any lands. How do we get more lands? I think we go for a Red and Realm Breaker. Really want to hit a land drop. There we go. A small gift. So we're probably just going to use the... Actually, we can actually... One, two, three. Yeah, we can actually attack here. She's got Vigilance. And we might see... Some aggro going towards Ren and Realm Breaker, which means we might be able to get a, a few kills here because we're going to use a sword. Oh, they're saying that. Uh, the Roxanne doesn't, does, she doesn't make a meteorite, does she? So, so the attack. No ETBs at all. This Alistair has to be protected at all costs. Just the one attack. Do I block and kind of try and see what they actually have in their hand? Right, let's see what they've got. Because if they give it a power boost or try and deal damage to Elish Norn. Mmm, that's suspicious. 
I think I'm actually going to source it because I don't want them to mark any damage on Ashnorn. Yeah. No thanks. Sword as well. So we can actually whip it to Alish Norn and attack through all of their stuff. This is actually pretty crazy. <clears throat> so we've put, we put all our eggs in one basket, but we have a 6 9 pro red, pro green Alish Norn that cannot be killed by anything in their entire deck. Cannot be blocked. Incredible. Land drops, please. Oh, that's a shame. Mm. Do I just want to... Nah, let's just... I want to... I kind of want to bait them into attacking again. Like, I know that this is... We probably should have minus two just to get a land, really. It's a bit intense here because I'm putting all my eggs in the Elish Norn basket. But, yeah, I don't know. If they want to get Roxanne to do any damage to Ren, they're going to have to attack with her. They will make a meteorite, right? But then Alishnorn will kill her in combat. They're going to use Ragapan as well. Are they going to do an Alpha Strike? They are going to do an Alpha Strike. No trigger there. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, let's just do that. I do not want them stealing our stuff. We are very low on life being at seven. I have to admit. Okay. We need to start making blockers now. So we're going to get double blockers. This is actually a pretty crazy position to be in. The seven life is scary. They, they, there's a number of ways they can like penetrate that defense. Any more lands here? Land and land. Wow. Okay. Right. Let's crack this. Jeez, we are getting a bit low, I have to say. Whoa, that is a lot. They're going to do something in response here? Just going to hold priority and be an absolute bozo? Oh, I just want to have a game. I just want to have a normal game. Like every, it's like every other game I play, it's the opponent's winning, and then I suddenly come back and then it's um get roped how can the game be that ropey it's freaking crazy So what exactly is going on here? I'm so, I'm so confused. Okay. They're going to... What? Do what exactly? Create a treasure. Okay. So, that, so they had to do that in response because... Because why exactly? And then they're going to do that. Okay. Sure. I'm not really... I don't really understand what the... What the purpose of that was, but... So, basically, we've got a lot of Scoot Swarms. And I'm actually going to play the Rasker, because I'm a bit scared that they're looking at this. They're going to create a Dragon with Haste. So I want to kill this before they can create a third treasure and create a dragon with haste. I know that feels weird. I know that sounds weird, but... And then turn that into an extra blocker. Right, okay. 
We probably won't be fetching this because it's going to take us down to five life. Cool. If only they didn't rope us, but, you know, there we go. Did you know that you can help my channel by watching another one of my videos? Go ahead, you know you want to.